Hello and welcome everyone to episode 61 of One Piece at a Time, the One Piece read-through podcast where we read and discuss five chapters of the One Piece manga each and every week. I'm your host, Derek Bittner, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host and freelance letterer at Shonen Jump, Brandon Bovia. How you doing, Brandon? Ah, doing pretty good. I'm, of course, Brandon Bovia, letterer on manga like uh, Dragon Ball Super and Kaiju number 8. It'll be out by the time this podcast comes out, so I'll just say the super manga, uh, we're doing um, uh, an adaptation of Superhero. Right, right. Uh, as sort of our next arc, because uh, we, we were doing sort of like the prequel stuff, but I was wondering if that was just going to be it. But uh, yeah, we're moving straight into it, into the, it's just like the next chapter is just like the first like 15 minutes of the movie. <laughs> wow. I, that's that's yeah. so strange to me that they decided not to adapt Broly into the super yeah, manga, they, but they're doing Superhero. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely weird. I think they they sort of hand waved uh, Resurrection F too. They didn't they did like a ch- like half a chapter on it or something. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, especially considering where the like like the the last arc of the manga. Uh, I don't need to get into this too much, but like <clears throat> the the way that things ended off before the superhero stuff in the manga is like, oh, we're doing this now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but it also like, man, they are just not in a rush. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how long that this takes. Um, I mean, I I I loved the movie, so I'm I I have no qualms. About yeah, just yeah. Like, All right, we're doing it in manga form. Be fun to see what they end up doing. So, and hey, yeah. if you want, you know, traditional two D visuals, here you go. Yeah, exactly. So that's good point. Yeah. Well, we are here to talk about One Piece, where things are getting positively apocalyptic up in Skypea. Yeah. <laughs> Apocalyptic is a good word for it, and and appropriate given the whole like god kami thing that is true and uh you know what we even have a name for this thanks to uh Aneru. chapter 281 death pia <laughs> it's so silly it's, so, it's such it's a just, dumb name but it's also like i, I love am, it though i am proud of this <laughs> well the, the way uh, we'll, we'll get into it when we get into it but it's just, just the, the the way that he f- Totally, that that whole thing is so funny. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, we we go back to, of course, we have more of Ace, uh, who's leaving the farm girl, but is doing a little favor for her since uh, she saved his life. So he has his his yeah. boat back, and he's ready to take off. And I guess he has a letter to, to deliver. So we'll see where that yeah. takes him as we go on. Yeah, no idea where this goes, but hey. Mm-hmm. I love the sense of scale that we get as soon as we get into the chapter. Just Yeah, like that first spread where it's just like we got like six panels dedicated to the Arc Maxim just taken off. Mm-hmm. And I, the thing you have to remember is that these trees are huge. We've seen them yeah. multiple times just how big they are, and yet it still dwarfs those. It makes it look yeah, like a normal God. forest. So it just you almost lose the sense of scale with just how big everything is. I actually forgot that too, yeah. And just, like, looking at this thing, I think we're like, yeah, this was, like, six years of slave labor, <laughs> basically, to to make this massive thing. Honestly, I'm impressed they made it in six years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that thing is uh, whew, wild. But, yes, uh, he, of course, and everyone's all happy. That, you know, and here's, our, here's our introduction to it. The Ark's final act is primed and ready. I call it Death Pia. It will redeem <laughs> this world of despair. I, lo- I, I sort of love... Again, it's just so incredibly silly, and even like Luffy's not having it. Yeah, he's you know, like, he's I like, shut up, straight face. <laughs> just, yeah, it's just like, ah, Death Pia, yes. Like, okay, be impressed. Sure. <laughs> uh, of course, it's sort of stuck at the moment because it's still trying to get through the 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 underground vars that it was built below, uh, so as as viewed by Isa, and she's it's just like. You know, we, we can't try to help Luffy. We can't interview him in a battle between warriors, which, what would she do anyway? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And then other mechanisms start moving in in this maxim. Which is what kind of surprised me, is that this thing's kind of kind of high-tech. It's extremely high-tech. Like, I don't know how he developed this, but it's it's impressive. And the, the other interesting thing is, I thought it was just like an engine that he was building. Like, it was just like, oh, it's an engine powering it. It's just like, it's, a, it's like a steamship type thing. Yeah. That's not what it is. It just keeps building out a bunch of black smoke that even the uh, Shandians uh, come out and see it. And it's like, huh, black yeah. smoke above this, even this layer of white, white sea. What the heck is going on? This is a thing where I, f- I feel like it would be more um, it would be more intimidating in color or or maybe if uh, Oda like because he used kind of uses like hatching. Um, but I feel like if 
the clouds actually looked darker, it would look more intimidating. Like you can kind of see it in in one of the bottom panels, just like sort of the blackening sky. But it is kind of just like you know when when everything's been so just kind of like all fluffy white clouds up here, and it's just like oh, <laughs> that is an omen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it never looks op- uh, oppressively dark. It's just like right regular. Yeah. That's why I was just like oh, it's a steamship. I think is yeah. I guess I it's it's answer. enough to see the contrast, but yeah. Mm-hmm. But as Aniru explains, it's a lightning cloud. With his energy, Death Pia will spew, spew out massive a massive jet stream made of lightning clouds. And eventually they'll accumulate energy and envelop all of Skypea in darkness. And just sending down dozens of lightning bolts to annihilate everything. No, seriously, the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Does a little demonstration, blows up a section of, of uh, Angel Island, freaking out everybody. It's like, okay, we gotta go. Yeah, yeah, we already made evacuation, but... <laughs> mm, like, he's obviously not targeting anybody specifically. He's just out to cause yeah. some terror at, at this yeah. point. He's just laughing it up, and uh, Conus is trying to get away, but Luffy's just like... you know. Actually, it's Nami who asks, what did he just do? He just did. Or mm-hmm. is it one of the two asking him what he did? It's like, and Luffy's just immediately like... You know, with him saying he's teasing the angels, like, just because you're the comedy doesn't mean you can just just destroy everything. It's like, yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're back into the fight with the uh, Luffy dodging the trident and trying to get some good hits on Nehru. I like that he, he tries to, like, kick it away, but it's too hot still. So he's just like, ah. Yeah, he, he, he like... Pins it to the floor, which we've seen him do before with a lot of yeah, other... Yeah, I thought about with, with Crocodile. Yeah, past weapons. But it's still, it's just too hot, especially because he's barefoot right now. Yes. <laughs> and he just he, he just can't take it because it's, it's literally turning wood to ashes as soon as it touches. So the fact that he's not way more severely burned is saying something about Luffy. Yeah. And, and the way that like you even see it demonstrated on like the fence where it's just, just disintegrated. Mm-hmm. And then we get a brand new move from Luffy. Gum gum, space out. <laughs> oh, speaking, of, speaking of Dragon Ball, <laughs> we have uh, Luffy has just achieved his ultra instinct. Yeah, he, he, like, he just avoided, like, cleared out all his thoughts, went pure instinct. and I, I, lo- I love that face he makes, too. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> the big it's nose. And the... <laughs> but then he points out, just like in uh, Super... Huh, since I'm not thinking, I also can't attack. <laughs> like yeah. Stupid... Oda figured this out years ago. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I, 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 God, I love this part of it. It's, it's like every Luffy fight has that middle section where he just tries all of the all of the dumbest ideas. We have the we got the gum gum octopus here. Uh, which doesn't really uh, do a whole lot. It just makes his feet all wiggly. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, it, it's, of course, Nero's like, ah, my mantra makes me invincible. And... Luffy's like, oh, wait, I have an idea, and starts punching at the wall with octopus fireworks. Because he doesn't know where it's going to land, and Aneru comes charge again, he can't predict it because Luffy doesn't know yep. where it's going to land. And, <laughs> and just completely eats it. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's what, God, it's so dumb, but see, like it, the fact that it works is so funny. Yeah, he just has to clear out his thoughts, and the follow-up is, is so good because Aneru gets yeah. sent back, and Luffy's fast enough that he can come in close because Aneru's even like, wait... <laughs> <laughs> gets a bazooka off on him does yeah like that face when he's coughing up blood is so good it's just enough for him to to move in uh, yeah and get an attack in before he can react I, I i like this sense that he's like no oh oh god it's coming i get i gotta get away and it's just not quick yeah. enough with the gum gum rifle straight into the that, chest that's it's, that's interesting good that, like his his reaction isn't fast enough mm-hmm. uh, just I guess that's the thing, like, with mantras, I guess you need, like, concentration. So it's like, you have to get him off guard. Yeah, he has the concentration, but his his mind works faster than his body. Because, let's be honest, yeah. he's probably not used to fighting. That's also true. He doesn't have to put in a lot of effort too often. Yeah. And so it's, God, it's... I mean, obviously, like God, that that last punch is so satisfying when Luffy gets in with the gum gum rifle. It's 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 yeah. like oh we're we're in the good stuff of this fight now. Like just see <laughs> yeah. in there who take those punches. Yes, please. I love the the silly stuff leading into the really satisfying hits. It just it works on me every time. Yeah, because sometimes the silly stuff just ends up being silly stuff that delays things. But this one actually, yeah, Luffy had an idea. So it, it, it or it just pisses off the opponent. But no, yeah, it's actually effective this time. <laughs> who knew? So yeah, let's jump into chapter 282, Desire, as 
Ace has found himself at Navy Base G2, where he's having a little bit of a lunch hanging out. So, huh. <laughs> it's just straight, just going to walk straight in, I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah. And, the, and interesting that Otis still hasn't changed the Whitebeard symbol yet. Yeah, I think that'll probably be coming up soonish. I don't remember when it happens. But Maybe. I, I yeah. honestly don't know. It's like I, I, Ace gets back and he's like, I, it's time for a rebrand. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, me, I know, I know, it, it's it's a, a Buddhism, that's the manji and all of that, but hey, we got to work on our advertising. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it's not good for the brand. No, no, it's too confusing. It's too confusing. Yep. <laughs> uh, but we get into the chapter, and we're just seeing the after effects of the rifle, and and they were being sent back into the gold, pretty much just, looking uh, knocked out. Like it was a good yeah. hit, man. And at the same time, though. The Ark is finally able to grind through the Vars and make it above the tree line. And uh, thanks to, you know, Ice and uh, Pierre start following after it. Luffy is breathing heavy, watching Aneru, not really, not really cheering anything like that. He just sort of, all right, I'm waiting. And sure enough, yeah. Aneru gets back up. And he's still like, <laughs> Aneru's still trying to cut his promo of saying, yeah, this is nothing. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is bleeding out. <laughs> Once I get rid of you, I'll rule. And then everybody everybody will fear and worship me. <laughs> you are no match for me. And yeah. Uh, and I, I love when they're grandstanding and Luffy's just no no selling. It's yeah. Like, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> but we go back to uh, Angel Island. Everybody's freaking out and running. Conus, uh, Conus. Actually, is that Conus? I think it might just be a random angel way when I see. Because uh, I, I saw the hair and the kind of behind the back. But yeah. That's not Conus. It's a little hard to tell. Um, so they see the, the ship rising above upper yard. It's like, whoo, that's, that's not good. And, uh, everybody's just like, okay, we, we keep on, keep going, keep going. <laughs> that's, that's why yeah. they're going to leave. <laughs> and that's when the Shandians, uh, see that something's going on over Angel Island. It's like, what's going on? And hey, good on this random dude coming over to the Shandians being like, hey, things going down. We got to go. Right. There, there's no, uh, like, forget about any sort of like, animosity like this is an extinction event <laughs> right let's There's save no everybody that it. we can so we we we're go- we gotta go and of course uh robin starts seeing it as well uh com- commenting on it as, uh, as she's in her own spot and then we get to the part that i i, I was so curious about how the manga was going to treat this compared to the anime because yeah. luffy goes in for a punch and a, a narrow takes the gold from the giant face and uses his luminous forge to form a giant golden ball around Luffy's arm, trapping him in in that. And in the anime, this felt like it slowed things down to a crawl. Like it had such good yeah. pace. And then it just like, it just felt like Luffy was trapped in the ball. We forever. just got Luffy back. And then now it's like, oh, you know, it's basically the snake again, more or less. It's like we needed another way to get him out of the fight. <laughs> right. But this, it, for whatever reason, I feel like it works better here. Maybe it still works yeah. f- fine in the, in, the in, in the anime. And it's just been too long for me because that first watch and it's just like, oh, I'll get to the fight type feelings. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But it makes sense from an Aries point of view. He is not doing well in this fight at all. Yeah. He's just like, we. I got to do something to get this guy out of here. Yeah. So I don't need to fight you. I'm just going to get rid of you this way. He's like, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> he just... Yeah. Kicks off the right ball, off. sends off Luffy, and there he falls. So I, I do love this line, though. You know, he's like, ah, once I get rid of you, nobody can is left as to, who can defeat me. And Luffy's like, there's a ton of people below in the sea below that can beat you. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's sort of an interesting. Like, I feel like it's Luffy kind of acknowledging, like uh, you know, there's there's people who are way above me right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I yeah, I, I'm curious who those people are. I'm wondering if Ace is one of them. I just I might. I, I was wondering if he's thinking about Shakes. Oh yeah, that'd be something yeah. as well. I could I could see it. I, I mean, who knows? If <laughs> of course Shakes Shanks would find some way to do that. I don't. I, I have no idea what Shanks is capable of, but. For whatever reason, sure, he can do that. Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. But yeah, Luffy falls. The Maxim rises. Issa and Pierre try to save uh, Luffy. Uh, and Nehru kind of acknowledges it. As Luffy falls, he just you know shouts out, Nehru, and uh, how, you know, I want a fair fight. 
And he, I think he's just barely able to protect Isa and Pierre from an El Thor as he's falling. Yeah. It was a, it's a little hard to kind of parse visually, but I, I think because he's above that I guess he takes the brunt of the lightning. Yeah, or, or, or he's able to stretch himself over to be a sort of lightning rod. Like, it does, it makes sense that Luffy would be able to just absorb all that with pre, with relative ease. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it took me it took me a couple of times to read read those pages and be like, what what, what happened? Seeing uh, an Eru attack a Luffy, Ice, and Pierre like that, you can see she's reaching her breaking point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, poor, Nami, again, uh, all alone up here. We had a little, a little bit of hope. You know, Luffy had him on the run for a little bit, and now it's like, well... <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. That was our that was our best shot, and we 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 flash back to Konus, who's like, okay, I just gotta hang out with the ship because that's where they're saying they're meeting me. So I'm gonna hang out at the ship until it's time. So I gotta get him back to the blue sea. And, and Nami is basically finally admitting to uh, Neru as he's sitting on his throne, be like, yeah, there's a lot of things I want, and you know, th- I could and I want to see, but. What's the fun of getting everything you desire if you're all by yourself? So I, if I have to leave those guys behind to go with you, then I don't want any of it anymore. So he's, it's great to see her stand up to him, right? Especially because you can see like she has tears. Like it, it doesn't have tears in her eyes, but it, like the eyes are wavy, kind of like she does. You can tell that she's yeah, she's scared. Yeah, and she's I, I like that she also grips the straw hat for sort of yeah comfort. So there there is quite a lot of that. I, I I don't see it too often, but I have seen a few people ship uh, Luffy and Nami. Yeah. And I don't... I can see where they're coming from, but it also like, mm, nah. <laughs> <laughs> that is just pure I, trust in friends. Yeah, I, I view everybody in One Piece as aromantic. <laughs> <laughs> except Sanji. That is, that, that is a... Uh, yeah, except Sanji. Uh, <laughs> but that, that, is a, that is a personal interpretation, but that just sort of like... The, the speech to me is so much more about like, you know, I have adventures I want to go on with these people. Um, you know, these, like, I can't just, Nami Respect is, you. I, I feel like she's, I mean, she's kind of like Usopp is the kind of character to put her own survival above all else. And so it's, it's awesome to get those moments where it's not played for laughs or anything where she's just like, no, like there are things more important than my own survival right now. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, it's a good moment for her. It definitely leaves yeah. it on a, a bit of a cliffhanger because uh, he's. It was just like, oh, you don't want any of it in even your life. Yeah. And then Konus makes it back to the going merry, and Usopp and Sanji are gone. Yeah. Which I was, I like, all oh, right, I did forget about this. I for I thought they were down for the whole arc. Once, yeah. Once Inaru got him, but so this the whole like next like three four chapters, I'm like. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> yeah, because they ended off with showing that uh, we got the Usopp. Oh, <laughs> that, that yeah, got him latched onto the maximum. And that, that last panel, up. they're clo- slowly climbing up. I mean, it makes sense considering, you know, they were one of the first ones taken out of the crew and these guys recover quick. So, yeah, they did everybody. I mean, like Robin's already back up. So it's just kind of like, yeah, they're they're kind of, you know, they're feeling it. <laughs> they're yeah. definitely not healthy. Um, but they are they're alive and moving. Yeah. I mean, Usopp had every bone in his face broken and he still was up and moving by yeah. <laughs> in a few days. So I, I think that that is sort of the key thing about about One Piece is that everybody can just survive. Everybody. It, it's all Looney Tunes logic. Yeah. You know? They heal quickly. It looks brutal yeah. in the moment, but they eh, afterwards it's fine. <laughs> all right. Chapter 283 on the front line of rescuing love and... The reason Ace is at this Navy base is because he's going to infiltrate it. Apparently related yeah. to this letter. So, boy, that's ballsy. Yeah. What dedication, too. I mean, I guess it's, you know, for the girl who saved your life. But I'm still. Sure. <laughs> I, 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 it, yeah, I, Ace looks like he's just completely fine. He doesn't look worried at all. No, no. He, it, it's just, just fun for him. Yeah. So... Uh, but we begin with a flashback to Sanji and Usopp waking up and be like... All right, wake up, Usopp. Think something's going on outside, and uh, you know, Nami's apparently taken. She's like taken up there, and he's like, "I caught just a glimpse of her for a second. She was on that ship. Doesn't matter what that thing is, but we got to go save her." Also, Damn, that's good eyesight. Yeah, right. I think the reason, and he points it out the next panel. All I know is that Nami didn't have her shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he just laser focused. Was like, "Oh, I see." <laughs> 
I, those little moments, like I, I, it could be a trope that can get very annoying and very tiring very quickly, but they balance it pretty okay. Yeah, I think, so I think though, like, like Sanji being just like just l- like little little bits of dialogue like that, I'm fine with. But uh, there there are definitely moments where uh, the joke kind of overstays its welcome. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get to this. Those. Is it was very in character though. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, they just make a plan to. Like we gotta go save Nami, so let's get up on that boat. And sure enough, they're they're climbing on. And the stops. Like I I I want to get off. I don't want to be here. The, the, the ship's going higher. This this is this is not good. And uh, <laughs> Sanji is like, nope, no going back. Yeah, it's like we are like fifty thousand feet off the ground. So even if he is the Kami, if he lays a finger on Nami, I'll become the demon of the blue sea. So that's, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> uh, every, every God needs its devil and it's Sanji apparently. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, Aneru already knows that those two are climbing aboard. He's yep. already laughing about it and uh, everything. And Sanji realizes this. It's like, Oh yeah, I, we can't sneak up on him. So we just got to go for it. Yeah, pretty much. I also like the little detail of uh, Usopp hanging on by using octopus shoes. Yeah, I don't know. Where did those come from? <laughs> I have no idea, but clever, I guess. <laughs> but they're not going up together. They're going to split up because if they both go together, it's very likely they're going to get taken down just as quickly as they did the first time. And yes. uh, to give him that little bit of extra faith, Sanji says, listen up, Usopp. If it's for Nami... I'm okay with sacrificing your life. <laughs> <laughs> and then just, he's just like, all right, time to go. Yeah. Like, We're not done here. <laughs> so good. Yep. It's time for a matchup that I also f- forgot about. Nami versus a Nehru where he, he, this is feels like a, like a boss fight against a character. Like, like the boss can one shot you. <laughs> right. I mean, Nami, he Nami's over it. here she... trying to dodge roll. I mean, she is fast. She has does have those thieves skills. So I believe she has a good, pretty, pretty decent speed stat. Uh, yeah. To to realize on this. Plus, eh, we'll get to other stuff. So she's trying to figure out a way to to handle the lightning. Meanwhile, Usopp is running through the ship, seeing just all the gear work going into this. Yeah. Again, like weirdly high tech. <laughs> yeah. And then going back to Robin, just to get a full sense of the crew, where she's carting out everybody that got taken out by a narrow in Shandora, I love the, 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 the feet and hands that spread out the yeah. bottom of them. It's so good. I, 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 all, this whole arc is just Robin kind of showing off the utility of her power set. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's so weird and wonderful. Oh uh, yeah. It's, I, it's so good. She's like, Oh boy, I gotta, I gotta hurry. Cause he's going to start the annihilation soon. And yep. I, 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 that's the nice, I, I, that's the amazing thing about these set of chapters, especially starting at this point. It is coming. People are yep. panicking. You got to get out of here. That, I think that's the, the the good thing about the pace is that it, it seems imminent. It's not a five minute situation. It's just how long are the straw hats going to distract him that they, he won't actually go through with his plans? Which because yeah, we already see, saw it like start to happen. Yeah, he's he's ready to go. You can just see more and more of the black sky, even over Angel Island at this point. It is. Yeah not good <laughs> and then we got the uh the, the shandians being like uh we don't know where the warriors are but they can take care of themselves we gotta uh, go uh, <laughs> about that <laughs> yep of course conus is just on the ship taking care of the mary as she's watching everybody and she's like i, I can only watch and wait like just yep. that sheer not knowing anything at this point it's just like it has it's, to be it's glad i'm glad that somebody's watching over the mary <laughs> mm-hmm but time to see what's going on with Luffy as Isa, Pierre, and all them are okay. Though Pierre's looking a little worse for wear. And He's Luffy, been going through it. <laughs> yeah, he really has. And Luffy's, of course, stuck in the ground under the ball. So yeah, he eventually lifts it up. Which, my God, the strength of this guy. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Uh, I, I I love this um the, the dialogue here. There's a little bit of a uh, a gag that's lost in translation here, where you know, uh, <laughs> Luffy says, "I can't get this thing off." Stupid golden ball, and then Isa just says, "Don't say that," <laughs> um, and that is because a golden ball, uh, translated literally, uh, kintama means uh, that is a euphemism for uh, one's uh, nether regions. <laughs> <laughs> And so it, it's just, it is a literal golden ball, but also, you know, right. Ice is like, you potty mouth. <laughs> yeah. How dare, how dare you? <laughs> I'm a child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and Luffy still knows where it's headed. 
because of Robin earlier. So like, we got to go back to the vine. Let's go. Let's get him. It's like you got knocked ba- knocked ba- knocked down. Time to go back up. Mm-hmm. And here's the great thing about Nami: she can't beat him, but she's the only one's been able to take like deflect a hit from him. Yeah, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and it makes sense. If anyone's going to be able to do this, being able to recognize the weather pattern and create a path with the lightning. Good on you, Nami. Holy hell. Yeah. What a step yeah, up from your first showing. It's really... God, yeah. <laughs> this is way cooler than, like, the Miss Doublefinger fight, even though, you know, it's basically just one move, but it's sort of, like, this is the thing I wanted to see. Was yeah. her using her kind of weather powers to kind of uh, dodge danger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's, she's not going to win. Uh, yeah. It, and even Aniru, like, says, like... Pff, I'm only using a little bit of my power, but, uh, you know, if I yeah. pu- push it up anymore, you're dead. So this isn't yeah. a, like a permanent thing, but it shows enough initiative that it's not instant kill like most other people. So, yeah, <laughs> good on you, Nami. Survived one hit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. And then Usopp with the save with the exploding star, except which <laughs> not really. <laughs> yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. It were just kind of like just. Just has his hand out, just like, no, sorry. No. Well, and, and yeah, and then Usopp's just like, <laughs> like he's like cowering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, Usopp made it to Nehru before Sanji, so, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, what a, what a, a poor uh, Nami and Usopp got to the, the two scaredy cats got to survive together. Right? <laughs> well, let's see how it happens as we get into chapter 284, Sorry. <laughs> and this is a fun lounge scene for our uh yeah I, I, this this spread is real, really cozy yeah i like that usopp just has all these eye, special eyeglasses that he keeps putting on the dogs yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, and so i fell asleep while lifting because of course he did as one does as one does <laughs> all right well into itself uh we see usopp realizing that sanji hasn't made it up here yet so that's not good. <laughs> and he immediately slams the door and leaves. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, well, God, it's so great. Just like that. I see. <laughs> mm, it just slams like, huh, the door back. I'm not here alone. I'm not here nope. with, with friends. So bye. But eh, good on him. He, he actually gets back into it quicker than we thought. He opens it back up again, then immediately gets shot at with yep. lightning He's able to avoid it, dodge roll once again, and he's immediately yeah. goes to Nami and says, "Help me." <laughs> yeah, help me. Yeah. These, God, these, these two play off each other so well, right? In, in the desperate situations, <laughs> <laughs> they're just—they're so goofy. Like they're panicking yeah. together, then they're laughing together. It's like you know, I'd like to save you, but we're against the comedy, you know. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> oh God, we're about to die. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Usopp immediately sees Luffy's hat. He's like, yeah, Luffy was here, but he fell off. So, you know, he'll he'll be fine. But we just got to get out of here ourselves. Yeah. It's sort of amazing at this point. Like, they're they're able to have this conversation while they're all just, like, running around the arc. Just trying to dodge lightning bolts. Yeah, and it's it's coming everywhere. And Nami's like, okay, we got the waiver. We need to use that to get out of here. And it's... (laughs) I got to say... Usopp's dodge roll there in the in the sky yeah. is honestly pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and the way that he the, the, like the slow mo like Olympic, <laughs> and then he just lands face first into like the the side of the ship. I just noticed that. I was like, why does he have yeah. that big bump? And I look back at the yeah. previous panel, and he bashes his head into the side of the yeah, ship. So- <laughs> oh my god! This god the the visual gags in this chapter. Is, I I god, it's so good. It, it treads that line between desperate and hilarious so well. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you know these two can't survive, but they have to, you know, they, they can't win, but they have to survive somehow. And we get a new attack from Usopp. Usopp voodoo. A needle gets stuck deep, deep beneath your fingernail, and Nami's like, oh, it hurts. Idiot, yeah. come yeah. here, <laughs> you want to die. A paper cut in between your fingers. Five canker sores in your gums, and... No, nah, Usopp, and Eru is not impressed and just smacks yeah, he, him across the oh, face. He, I love, he doesn't even use lightning. He just smacks him in the face. <laughs> He's basically playing golf with his head. Yeah, multiple times. Like, you see him on the next page. Eru is just whack, whack, whack. <laughs> <laughs> He's had it. I'm just like, this guy's an idiot. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he, they, they have to still get through an Eru to actually escape. 
and uh, Nami gets on the waiver, goes off to grab Usopp, almost makes the catch, but he pu- and there he pushes his hand down with the, the, the pole, the staff, oh. and uh, he's ready to use the L Thor until Sanji finally shows up and kicks them what away. What an entrance. Right? And unfortunately, Sanji's the one hit with the L Thor. Got zapped twice in one day. <laughs> right? It's just like, oh, man. But still... Like it felt, I felt so bad for these two because they didn't get to do much after it, it, it after um the Satori fight. They just they get demonstrated as getting taken out early. It's like, oh, well, I guess yeah. they got that one thing, but now they get admittedly some of the coolest stuff in the arc. <laughs> Again, I I completely forgot about this. I I thought they were down uh, mm. for the rest of it, but the fact that they just even for a little bit kind of get to go toe to toe with Enaru, like it feels like they're. Everybody, all, all the straw hats got to kind of get their chance a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And Sanji, you know, he tends to not get as much as the other, as like Zoro. But this yeah. is a great moment. He's like, oh, yeah, uh, there's one more thing I wanted to say. But before that, thanks. I was just thinking of how I wanted to lie. And he's just yeah, burnt. And he, he's just burnt. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, is that all you wanted to say? Oh, yeah. Drop dead. And he just falls. Over. Like, <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, and I thought that was it, but he meant it. <laughs> Yeah, he actually used that time. The reason he wasn't above is that he sabotaged the ship. That's some good Mr. Prince stuff right there. Right? The return yeah. of Mr. Prince. And so that distracts Aneru enough that he has to leave and go fix the, the jammed gears. But good on Usopp using that wah again to get back <laughs> up onto the ship. He didn't actually fall and rescue yeah. Sanji. Man, the teamwork. <laughs> that's so good. This is the, God, this is the best <laughs> stuff. And again, I think that's maybe why, like, Luffy being down for the section doesn't bother me. Because it's like, everybody, things are constantly moving. Everybody's kind of, like, zipping around to trying to, like, everybody's got each other's back. Yeah. For, for whatever reason, in the anime, I remember Luffy just constantly just having trouble with the ball. Like, they'd it, find, it, they found reasons they to, really like, delay him with that. the ball. Yeah, and I think that's the if I remember correctly, I don't know for sure, but I feel like they added just a bunch of stuff with him struggling to get the ball where it needs to be. And here it's just like, yep. no, I'm picking up this thing and just going. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Thank Kami. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and real quick before we get into uh, the final chapter, Oda tr- uh, tried drawing all the straw hats with uh, just a pencil in his mouth. And honestly, <laughs> they're pretty Why? good. They're better than they should be. Like, I'd, I'd say uh, Nami and Robin are kind of the best. Yeah. And Zoro to a degree. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, chapter 285, Capriccio. Where, uh, this, this podcast episode has flown by. <laughs> I mean, these chapters have flown by. It's definitely yeah. a quicker set because we were getting to some discussion type stuff. But for now, it's just like this just constant action. Yeah, yeah, it's just, everything's just moving so much. Mm-hmm. And, uh, huh, I wonder if he's going to fall asleep because <laughs> he's just found a Navy buffet. Oh, oh, that's it. He's done for. I love that he's balancing a tray of turkey, two glasses of water, and who knows what else on his head as he scoops <laughs> up more. Ace, remember your mission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's, this has been a fun set. We haven't talked it's too much good. about Ace, but it's, it's, it's been wonderfully silly. Exactly. It, it it feels just right for him. Yeah. Good stuff. Usopp has rescued Sanji, but, um, you know, they're falling in order to get off. So I got to hope yeah. that they land on something nice. But as uh, Nami was pointing out earlier, aim for the clouds. We should oh. be OK. And sure enough, <laughs> he lands face first, head plants into it. Just, but he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still talking with her while he's like that, too. That's a great thing. Yeah. It's just, I love just like the his like, like springy uh, octopus shoes just kind of sticking out of the ground. <laughs> yeah. I love all his gadgets. It's 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 wonderful. And uh, so, yeah. Um, Nami points out the vines like, okay, if it's the same one I saw from the ruins, it means that this is a, the island cloud above the ruins. So we got to go there in order to meet up with uh, Robin and the others. Yeah. So let's let's go. And it's like, yeah, we got to we got to get off the island because there's no, no place left safe left in Skypea And I mean, good on Aneru for looking at all this devastation and crackling and explosions happening within the Maximum and being like, eh, it's not going to sink that easily because I know how to keep it afloat. 
and he <laughs> happens to have all the rare jet dials from his homeland. He has all these jet dials lined up so he can fly even without electricity for long enough. My God. Which, oh, the, the plan within the plan. I, and I... I I feel I'm surprised that like Inaru has planned for this because he's so full of himself. Or you know you would think like ah you know there's no way that uh, there would be anybody powerful enough to uh, stop my plans. But I, he's, I, he's ready. Maybe it's, it could be more the idea of like ah God knows everything and is prepared for all possibilities. So of course that's, that's true too. I suppose nothing so. can nothing can stop me. <laughs> I love this return to Luffy and Isa as Isa's dragon poor Pierre by the beak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While Luffy is rolling with the, with the golden ball to make it yeah. through the thing, like he, it's just so ridiculous. Yeah, it was pinballing, destroying everything in his path. Ice is like, stop destroying my homeland. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I gotta go pick up Robin and Zoro and all of them. So wh- yeah. where is everybody else? It's like, oh, they've already gone up. So let's go. <laughs> yeah, and we get this like little moment of like Ice being like, a sky pier going to disappear, and Luffy doesn't really say anything, but. You know, we'll just keep going. And God, I love that shot of Robin looking up yeah. the giant jack and seeing the maximum that's above and the huge. black cl- the black clouds that have billowed yeah. out everywhere. Yeah. Now, now that the the black uh, the clouds have spread a little bit, it definitely it feels very apocalyptic. Yes, it's it's actually ominous now. I feel like if it was just all black at this point, it yeah. wouldn't it wouldn't have the same effect. It would just seem, seem like night. So it was a slow build, but the the cross hatching has worked at, 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 up to this point. Yeah. So. And Robin revealing where the bell is at. He, oh, the ship is still he- going towards the bell tower. So she's like, hmm, I wonder where the others uh, are at. I hope they're not on the ship. And then, sure enough, here comes Luffy tossing Ice and Pierre to her. So like, uh, it's like, hey, take care of them. I'm going to head on up. He just runs right on past. and Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, it, what's that ball on your arm? Just doesn't even. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even acknowledge it. It's like, hey, he's going after the bell, right? So I'm heading up to the top. Which, God, just Luffy, just he's basically running straight up with a w- giant weight on his arm. It has to be like a ton. It has to be. Yeah. Yeah. And Robin immediately asks uh, Isa, and it's like, hey, do you know where the navigator is? The one with the orange hair? It's like, oh, Nami's on the arc. Wait, wait, wait a second. I only hear one voice up there now. And sure enough, here comes yep, she's here. the rest of them. <laughs> the Straw Hats have reunited. Most of them are passed yeah. out, but they've reunited. <laughs> but even Gone For and Wiper... I've been saved thanks to to Robin. Everybody's looking a little charred at this point. And <laughs> God, I love Usopp. It's like, I can't believe they were all beaten. If only I had been there. It's like, <laughs> yeah, sure, seriously. Sure. Uh-huh. sure. <laughs> and, you know, they're like, hey, we got to get away. Let's go. And Nami's like, no, I'll chase them down on the waiver. You guys go ahead and get to the Mary, the, the going Mary. So yeah. <laughs> the only two that we'll have left on the island at a certain point, it seems like, is going to be Nami and Luffy, which very interesting choice for our sort of final two. Like, yeah. Nami's become way more active in all these events than you would ever expect. Yeah, which is surprising. Yeah. So, he's just... Uh, Luffy's just running straight up the, the, the giant jack and can, uh, determined not to let a Neru get his way. He is running straight up on pure spite. <laughs> mm-hmm. And ba- back at Angel Island, McKinley is still directing everybody. It's like, hey... We have to go the long way around. We've got to use all the boats on the docks, too. Use a dial to create a river on, on the island. We have, to, you know, there's still about half of us left. Just leave everything. Forget grabbing yeah, your stuff. Just go. Go. <laughs> yes. Just go. <laughs> we need to go. And, and Nehru is looking up at all his, his hard work and being, ah, it's, it's, all his hard work and being like, okay, everything's going according to plan again. And the, uh, the Hidden Cloud Village is getting ready to leave as well. They're not, not sure where Isa is, but they're hoping they're okay. everything's okay. And then everything becomes quiet for I, for uh, Konus. It's like the wind has stopped. The sea is so quiet. And then all of a sudden, the lightning starts to come down. Yep. And that's, oh, <laughs> that's good to and see. You that. see it come down like right as like, like, like right on the people evacuating. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, it has that effect like, this is well apocalyptic. It's, it's the stakes yes. have been raised <laughs> All in a of way. Everything's coming down. Like I wasn't sure they'd be able to get the stakes higher than Alabasta. 
I yeah. couldn't remember if they did or not. Because I remember the threat of crashing, which is, you know, something, but I forgot how he planned to do that. But to just have these random bolts of lightning coming down and destroying so much, and we've seen demonstration after demonstration about how powerful they are. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say the stakes are higher at this point. This is it. This is <laughs> this is your world-ending event right here. Yeah, and sure enough, we have uh, it all happening as Nehru's happily saying, let's start the feast. Memora gone. Yeah. Memora gone or whatever. I don't, and he, yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and God, that shot of just... Yeah, that, that big old spread of all the lightning coming down. That's incredible. It, it's horrifying. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. I am... I was blown away by these chapters. I was so worried about Luffy getting stuck in the ball, but I think my fears have been allayed. I don't have to worry too much. Yeah. It's in, it, it honestly is just like we're moving straight into the finale, it feels like. Yeah. I mean, everybody's getting away. And there he's enacting his plan. Luffy's heading to stop him. We'll see how it goes. This is it, baby. Yeah. Hard to believe. But what fun. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. it's reminding <laughs> me, like... I, I thought I really liked this one because of all the the, the, the free like free for all and the you know each side having to do it, but the build up towards a narrow the as that focal point has been yep. really good, better than I remember. It is excellent, yeah. I mean, I feel like even mo- most One Piece final acts tend to be really great, um, but I've definitely I've I've forgotten how great this one is. Yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, with that, I believe we've said all we've wanted to say about chapters 281 to 285 of One Piece. Thank you so much for listening, and you can find more of my ramblings and stream VODs over at BitNerd Games on YouTube, or BitNerd with an underscore at the end on Twitter. And Brandon, where can everyone find you at? I'm at Brandon Bovia on Twitter, talking about anime manga games and my job. Like I said at the start of the show, uh, the Dragon Ball Super manga is covering the new, the new movie, so uh, be sure to check that out. It'll be a good time. Yeah, definitely. And if you'd like to help us out more, you can support the podcast over at patreon.com slash Derek Bittner. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-B-I-T-N-E-R to listen to the next episode three days early. And make sure to return next time as we discuss chapters 286 to 290 of One Piece. Until then, my friends. Bye. Remember to take life one piece at a time. And not a soul in the world can defeat me. Not a soul in the world? Hmm. You're an idiot. Even if I can't defeat you. Back in the Blue Sea, there are tons more fighters who can put you in your place. Someone like you could never... You talk too much, boy. Now fall!